Hello, hello, and welcome back, subscribers. Forgive my scratchy voice, I've been away for a while, but I thought I would come back with a video for you. A line art tutorial. This is also something for me to see how my line art has changed over time and how, when I look back, I used to do line artwork. Two examples that I want to use here are these simplified sketches of ponies. The first example on the left is me directly drawing over the lines, and then the one using rough guidelines and making adjustments that I think better suit for the line art. One of the tips that you can see on the very top is the lines that I use. I usually use fine tips or a range of sizes if I want consistent line weight or varied line weight to avoid some shaky lines. I always try to make sure that I'm not drawing when I'm tired or hungry because my hand gets shaky when that happens. Another thing is I also try to check the stabilizers and I try to do the same brush stroke over and over again if I'm using a new pen. One of the other examples for my line work is the circle technique, testing if I like thick or thin borders, varied, or just adding hatching and cross-hatching for textures. Another set of examples, this also works with traditional artwork, is the types of pen you use. Fine tips, all the way up to brush tips if you're using traditional or chisel tips. I usually, for Procreate, use the fine tip if I want my colors to pop and my line art to pretty much be non-existent. I'll use the Procreate pencil if I want a textured line art. I'll just use a standard pen and I'll add either black outlines around, kind of thickening where two lines meet or curves. I will also sometimes, for texture, add little hatching. Or if I want to be bold and try and experiment with super thick lines, I'll use a technical pen with a really wide brush so that way when I use the pen pressure it's a nice even but still has a little bit of line weight when I taper off the end to a fine point. Another piece of advice that I would give is you are not limited to just these types of tutorials. You can watch as many videos on YouTube, you can learn from as many of these pay-to-learn kind of places, whether that is school or online. These are not the only ways that you can illustrate your line art. Comic illustrations are a key thing, but if you're just learning to ink comics, that is different from if you're wanting to do something as a personal project. An example would be this illustration that I made back in 2018. There was no guides for that. I just used my imagination and I went for what I at the time felt was best and I wanted a non-existent line art where I used colored line art on the feathers and pretty much everywhere else I erased the black lines and just left the colors. Another sort of common thing that I have heard and seen is my artwork looks like it's just a coloring book. It looks boring. It looks pre-made and it just doesn't look right. When you're drawing directly over your sketches sometimes this effect can be case. Another thing is, try not to compare yourself. If you want to draw in a cute chibi style or if you want to draw in a super hyper detailed one, go for whatever you feel best fits with what you're going for. If you are having a hard time figuring out which one you like, try them all out. If you want to try, for example, making the same illustration in two to maybe four different line styles where you do simplified all the way up to super detailed, see what you like. Another thing is, if you are checking out other people's examples, Try not to compare yourself so heavily to others, learn from them, and use what you feel is best, but don't try to mirror them because you will not be able to do everything they are because you don't have the exact same, well, body, personality, tools, time, everything that they have. Be yourself and be comfortable with this because you never know what you'll make. Especially if you don't try. A few examples of illustrations that I used to do versus now. I've changed how I want to do my line art, and I'm still changing it, but I'm learning to be comfortable with it. I hope that these tips helped, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. Most of you are watching to the end of the videos now, aren't you? I hope so, because I can see a few of you who aren't joining the Subscribler Squad. What are you waiting for? I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye